name is Dua Zera. We are assigned a topic by Sir Anabaksh. Our topic name is Breathing and Floating Tank. Breathing and Floating Tank is refers to a death that is performed on a sample of blood to measure the time taken for its float. We can also say AC or CV death. Now I can explain the Breathing Tank death. In Breathing Tank death, it is assessed with what habitats with which blood can float, it can stop bleeding. Then a small puncture is made on the skin of the person by performing this test, we can easily determine the way in which platelets work. Now I can discuss the floating tank test. Floating tank test is the time taken for blood to float in a person. Now I can discuss the methods by which we can determine the bleeding tank test. There are two methods. First is the IVM method and second is the Duke method. The IVM method starts from the beginning of incision until the termination of bleeding. In this method, a, a standard filter paper can be used. Every uh, 30 seconds, we put uh, drops in until, until the blood completely stops. The normal value for the ideal method is 2 to 9 minutes. And the second method, living tigers, is the dual method. The peak is about 3 to 4 millimeter deep. This method wipes the blood every 30 seconds with a filter paper. This is method bleeding. The usual time for the uh, dual method is now I can call Dua Zera. She is Dua Zera and today I am describe about floating time method. There are three methods of the floating time method. The first one is capillary method, the second one is divine method and the third one is activated partial thromboplastic. So first of all we will discuss about capillary method. So what is capillary method? The capillary method is used for floating time involves taking a drop of blood from a finger and placing it into capillary tube. The time taken for blood to form a float and then observed with normal floating time. Typically its normal range is between uh, 2 to 8 minutes. This test helps assess the blood's ability to float. Now we are discussing about the rewrite method, the second method. The rewrite method of floating time test is a diagnostic procedure. Used to measure the time it takes for blood to float. It involves drying blood into two capillary tubes and measuring the time taken for the blood to form a float at 37 degrees centigrade to assess the function of coagulation system. And uh, now we are discussing the last uh, method, activated partial thromboplastic. The activated partial thromboplastic time test measures the time it takes for blood to flow to form a flow after adding an activator, uh, which helps evaluate the intrinsic and common coagulation pathway. It is commonly used to monitor heparin therapy and assess floating disorder. Now I can call Navish Kuro. My name is Navish Kuro. Why do you need blood? Bleeding and clotting. They are several reasons for cured by the doctors. Experiments show issues blood does not have to flow, such as cutting and injury. The blood blood vessel is structured, and uh, I suggest to test the blood testing. Blood test to determine the blood clotting as a first problems. Uh, normal bleeding time three to seven minutes and clotting time seven to fifty minutes. So in last, as we can calculate that the normal bleeding time is two to seven minutes. And the normal floating time is 8 to 15 minutes. Later, we have a lens seat, this is a filter paper, and this is a cotton, this is a cabinet tube for bleeding. The first step is to sterilize the finger. In 30 seconds, we put a drop on the filter paper after the bleeding is stopped. Make sure that no bubbles are left in the capillary tube. So now we have to break it into a small pieces. So as you can see, there is no uh, blood process. So now we have to wait the three more uh, minutes. And floating are the essential physiological process that helps to maintain health and life. It also helps in healing the bumps and uh, allowing the new tissues to form. Thank you.